Hey everyone, by my appearance you can clearly tell I need some help and in today's video I wanted to do a glow up video. Things are starting to open up in Chicago. My friends are coming to visit this weekend and we plan on going to like rooftop bars and outdoor bars, outdoor restaurants. Some shopping is open and I have not done anything like this in a while because of quarantine. I'm just getting excited, so I want to get myself put together. So I've been wearing my hair like this all the time because it is so dead. Um, I haven't got my hair cut in so long and I don't know if haircuts are a thing here yet. I just moved here so I don't even have a place to go or really. So I'm gonna cut my hair. My mom just cut her own hair and it looks fine. I mean, it looks beautiful now. She told me how she did it. My ends are like super bad, but they're not good. My hair's pretty dead because uh, if you guys don't know, I bleached it like platinum not too long ago. And now it's just fading. I kind of like this color, even though I know it's just like faded brown. So what my mom did, so if any of this gets messed up, it's my mom's fault. She just put her hair in a ponytail, like literally up here. And you just cut off like however much you want. It'll give you kind of layers. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Is that good? Can you guys tell me please? Like, come on, I'm asking a question. So we're gonna try and get it really tight. Hello, I'm gonna call me. Okay, this seems wrong. Okay, I watched five seconds of the tutorial. Um, her hair was wet, but I don't wanna do that. Okay, I'm gonna stop being a baby and just cut it. I think I'm gonna cut all this off because it just looks dead to me but see why is mine like that i think it's just because it's dead do you hear what i'm saying because i don't get what i'm saying okay people here we go oh good you should have gotten here cutting scissors Look at my hair right now because there's so much product in it. <laughs> okay. I was really nervous. Okay, it kind of feels amazing. You guys are probably like, you really didn't do anything, but that's good. See, in like a ponytail, it all looks. I just did that, but I just did that. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to wash my hair now because it very much needs it. It's literally got like pomade in it. That's why it looks like this. Um, I'm gonna wash my hair, shave and exfoliate, and then I can show you guys the tanning products I've been using um, and how I've been getting this supernatural glowy tan. Same bit. Okay, so I have all my tanning supplies right up here. Ignore my shower curtain. We don't have a real one yet. So I got all of these tanning products and some other products I'll show later on in my video from Premier Look. So I want to say thank you so much to Premier Look for sponsoring this video. Premier Look is a trusted and certified retailer of medical grade skincare and beauty items. There are over 50 skincare and beauty brands on the website. Uh, right here, I have Kula Tan that I've been using. With Premier Look, you truly get what you pay for. It's not over-the-counter, one-size-fits-all. It's the very best quality of medical-grade skincare. Premier Look has dermatologists and estheticians on hand to help you pick out skincare and answer any questions. It provides worry-free, confident skincare shopping. Something I love on the website is that 
It gives you a full description of benefits for each product and lists all the ingredients. I know that can be so important for some people with sensitive skin. Knowing every ingredient in your skincare and anything else you're putting on your skin or in your body can be so important and I think Premier Look provides that when a lot of other stores can't. So yeah, with that, let's get started. So the first one I'm going to use is the Tan Kula Sunless Tan. This is an anti-aging face serum also. So I just take a pump of this and I put this all over my skin. And all these products smell so good. It literally smells like you're at the beach. And then I'm going to take another pump and I do put it down my neck. And then after that, I'm going to use the Sunless Tan Luminizing Body Serum. And again, this is by the brand Kula. And then I'm going to take this one into my hand and I'll rub this all over my body. I don't use a mitt. You can if you want to. Um, I just don't have one right now. And I love this one for like right before you're going out because one, it moisturizes like a lotion. Uh, and the tan will like start developing within a few hours, which I think is so awesome. But it also has, we might have to wait till I get in the sun more. Can't see there's these little like gold flakes where it's just beautiful okay i'm gonna rub this on the rest of my body and then i'll get back to you guys okay i have that rubbed in everywhere and then to go the extra mile on my legs just because this is a smaller pump i normally don't use it on my legs it just takes too long so i use this sunless tan again by kula uh it's the tan tone and tighten and again, it's got that pina colada scent that I love. Okay, and then two other products that I tend to use a lot are, if I'm in more of a hurry, I'll use the Kula Tan Sunless Tan Dry Oil Mist. And this one's really nice because it is just a, a mist. So you can spritz this all over your body. And that works really nicely too. I figured because I have time. I'll use the lotions and then because I'm not perfect and sometimes I do go out in the sun and tan that way I have the Kula Classic sunscreen spray and pina colada and this stuff smells so good and it's an SPF 30 so I love this as well because that's important if you're going to go out in the sun. Time to do my least favorite thing on the planet, my nails. I hate doing them so much because I don't think I have nice like nail beds or cuticles looks like there's stuff under my nails but that's literally my biggest pet peeve um i dyed a pillowcase with black dye and it just died under my nails i swear so i'm not really going to recommend any of the products i'm using because they're all pretty shit so if you want to do your nails i suggest looking for another video i'll just do a little time lapse for you guys of showing how i do it with these little tips but i think if you guys want like acrylic or dip or whatever check out another video i think that they turn out really pretty um especially for someone who's gotten real acrylics done once i think like i'm happy with how they look at home the thing is i love this length but i know even this length I can't do, so I'm gonna cut them down a little bit further. But if you couldn't tell what I was doing, is I'll paint the gel on the nail, press it down, pop the nail off, and then I add a thick top coat, and they turn out so cute. But I'm gonna cut them down a little bit. I just wanna show you guys how cute they could look if you can handle a little bit more length than I can. Um, I leave thumbs to do absolutely last because on both sides I like to use them to be able to clean up and then I'll do the thumbs but there's one hand kind of done. I'm going to do the next hand and then I'll get back. That just took me like 20 minutes to do so not that bad. Okay so the nails are finished. This hand looks better. It's all done and to the length that I like. They're not perfect but... I think they get the job done and they look a lot better than my natural nails. Don't look too close, please. <laughs> okay. They always make me like act different though. 
This finger's real messed up, don't look at her. Um, so the first thing that I'm gonna use for my makeup is the Cooler Resilience. Um, it's just a BB and sunscreen. I, this is kind of lighter than my face right now just because of all the tanning I've been doing. So I like really light makeup on the skin because I don't like when I'm able to see it. But I still have some stuff that I need to cover up. So I actually use this baby cream as concealer and I just use my fingers and pat it under my eyes and see how it's a little bit lighter. It looks so natural though. Can you see that difference? Like how this just like literally opens my eye up. This product has changed my life. I'm also going to take some of that. This has a really pretty like sheen in it as well. And I'm going to take it on my pimples or just any dark spots. But instead of blending that with my finger because I want it a little bit more full coverage, I'll do a beauty blender. And it covers just the right amount. Next, I'm going to bronze my face with just a stick bronzer and I dip my brush in it and I do it like higher up. This coloring is so off. This is another product from Premier Look. Uh, so is this Lula BB Cream, if I didn't say that. This is in the shade Summer Crush and it's actually like a lippy chapstick. And I use it as a chapstick, but I also use it on my lips to create a pretty flushed, like, summer sunburned kind of look. I love the color. I know my mom's going to want to steal this from me. And then I'm going to add a little liquid highlighter just on my cheeks. And there's that. After that, we're going to do eyebrows. I'll fill them in with a pencil. This is good practice for how I do my makeup normally because I think I've honestly forgotten. Then I'm going to curl my eyelashes like I always do. This would be like a going out to dinner kind of makeup look. It's not a lot, but it's not the bare minimum. I really curl my eyelashes. And then I'm just going to use a lengthening mascara and go on my eyelashes and my lower lashes. And then lastly, I always take a lip liner and slightly overline my lips because I'm a catfish. I only overline the top lip though and not even anything in the bottom lip. I just go with my natural line. Okay. And I love that color on its own. Or I'll add the Summer Crush Lippy just as something a little more hydrating and I like matching my cheeks to my lips. And there's that. Okay. Now I'll be honest with you guys. I was going to like do my hair like cute because we gave it that little chop. Do you guys want to see the back? What does the back look like? Let me know. It's just shh. Am I even looking straight? You guys will let me know. <laughs> but I don't have a blow dryer and my brother is bothering me and wants to go for a walk. So I'm gonna rush. I'm gonna be walking full beat face in sweatpants. No, I'll wear a yeah, too. Maybe I'll get a picture. That's what that's what this glow up is for, for a picture. Okay, but my ends feel so much better than when I started. Oof. I'm gonna show you guys a tutorial of that hairstyle I've been doing nonstop. Ernie is ready to play. I'm gonna pull my hair into a ponytail straight back so normally when I do it like the clippies I was so used to doing it like down but for this one you go straight back and try to get it as sleek as possible 
and I like to keep a middle part, but you can do a side part too, or no part. I just prefer a middle part. Look at this. What is that called? Fried hair. <laughs> okay, then you pull that into a pony tie. And you're gonna make sure everything is sleek. You can use hairspray or hair gel or pomade or whatever, but mine's staying pretty well right now. Then for the bun, can you guys see? <laughs> you're gonna twist it up and back down and you kind of flip it over. Could you guys see that? Let me do it again. So you twist it up, flip it down, and flip it over and it creates this little like, I don't know, cutesy thing. And your hair tie will be covered by your hair clip. And then that's that. You can pull it down a little bit and mess with it. But I think it looks super cute and super chic. This is, all of these hairs I gotta pin up real quick. I just moved here and I can't find Bobby pin. But I'm gonna pick out a cute outfit that I'll probably wear to dinner one of these nights. And I'll show you the completed look. And here is the completed look. I will have all the products I mentioned listed down below in the description box. Um, I wish I had some place to go right now because I'm freaking ready. I think that this outfit is so cute. It's perfect for your first dinner, fancy cute dinner, rooftop bar after quarantine. Um, I think it looks like like, okay, she knows what she's doing, but she's not trying too hard. She didn't plan this outfit all of quarantine. She didn't plan this hairstyle all of quarantine. No way. No way. She didn't spend that much time. She's effortless. She's, okay. <laughs> That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. A lot of fun getting my legs together. Um, seeing how I'm supposed to get ready for the day. Not the day, the night. Um, I love you guys so much. Make sure to check out all my moving vlogs. I have a ton of those coming. So much more fashion content. Leave down below what you'd like to see from me. And that's it. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you in my next one. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. Bye.